Hi, people. My name is Daniel. I work with the Core Health and Wellness International here in the Department of Black Soldier Fly. Here we do rare Black Soldier Fly. It's a new venture. It's a new venture, a business whereby, if exploited, can really be of great value and importance to the community. Black Soldier Fly is a unique fly. It's quite different from a normal house fly. Why? Because this fly converts food wastes, a lot of food wastes, into valuable products like even protein. We are going to talk about uh, larvae harvesting. Why harvest larvae? Larvae at larval stage, this larvae have got a lot of protein. When we harvest this larvae of black such a fly, we try them. And when we have tried them, they are so important into food formulations like uh, feeds for fish, poultry. Therefore, instead of going for soya, which will be competing with human food, now you will use black soldier fly, slavi, the dried ones, to supplement with protein in mixing with your feeds for those very animals. So where do we start from when it comes to harvesting? What's the process? Now when, it's, uh, when we start harvesting black soldier fly, first of all we have, uh, we, we fit them, we fit this black soldier fly onto decomposing agricultural or food wastes, agricultural residues. Therefore, one, when we, we, we feed them, they normally, they are here. They don't come into, con, into direct sunlight. Oh, so they hide, they hide under the food waste? So they hide under the food waste. Okay. So like this one, you may not see if they are there or not, but they are there. Mm -hmm. So here, come, here we reach the process of trying to, to, to find a way of harvesting them. Mm -hmm. You see, you can now begin to dress them. Yeah. These are the black soldier fly larvae. Mm -hmm. Now this, that's the way we harvest them. We collect this, mm -hmm. put them onto this sieve. Mm -hmm. You can see them. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they, 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 they fear. They fear being exposed to sunlight, mm -hmm. rather to light. Mm -hmm. They will try to, to hibernate. So as they will be looking for the way of hibernating, mm -hmm. they will be dropping down into our containers. Okay. So what's the purpose of this procedure? So the purpose of this procedure is to separate them from mm -hmm. the the, rem the remains of food waste called fras, mm -hmm. which has already fras, which has already been converted okay. into into compost manure. Mm -hmm. So the 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 the, 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 by, the byproduct of this will be the fras, mm -hmm. which will be used as our manure in the, in our farms. Yeah. You can see them? Yeah, yeah. You can see them dropping. Mm -hmm. And then you will have to keep them some time. Yeah. When you keep them some time, mm -hmm. down the sieve you will see them. Mm -hmm. You will see them try to isolate from the rest of the, the fras. Mm -hmm. They are so clean. Okay. So once they have separated themselves from the rest of the fras, mm -hmm. now we can, we, we can start now scooping begin them, scooping them, separating. You it. see, when you take, there is nothing. There is nothing like soil inside. Let me see. Wow. They are very clean. Yes. So we place them onto a different container. Mm -hmm. We harvest them mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. So here we have them. Mm -hmm. We have them all here onto this container. Yes. These are the ones that we have harvested. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm seeing like you're wearing gloves. Is it necessary to wear gloves or I can just use um, hands? No, I've been using my this glove. It is not really necessary. Why? Because this one are disease happening free insects. Okay. okay. So then what happens after that? Now what happens after this? Mm -hmm. Here we, we have our local improvised dryer. Mm -hmm. So here is where we dry the black soldier fly larvae. Mm -hmm. So here we comes. Yeah. We can uh, at least come here where we open our 
our, our, our dryer mm -hmm. is just made from local materials. Yeah. And then we will have to spread this uh, black sheet. Black. It's black a polythene sheet. Mm -hmm. sheet. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. we shall be now. We come and boots boots them onto this sheet. Mm -hmm. We, sp we spread them onto this sheet. Mm -hmm. We spread them onto this sheet. Mm -hmm. We spread them onto this sheet. Yeah. Once you have spread them onto this sheet, mm -hmm. you see they are alive, they are moving. Yeah, they can't run away. So we, we will try to, to make some depression so that they just remain inside it or into the sheet. Oh yeah, because I'm, I'm, like, I'm looking like the other one is trying to run away. Now we are trying to avoid that yeah. by putting this piece of timber around to hold this it. Area. Okay. Mark you, this is just an improvised one. Yes. So once you have done like that, mm -hmm. so they will just be there, they will not try to run away. Mm -hmm. They will remain on to that one. So how many how many days before they dry? Within some minutes, they would have died. Mm -hmm. Then uh, three to four days, depending on the weather condition of the sunshine, mm -hmm. they will all have died and dried. Right. Inside there, it is very too hot. hot. I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So that one will force them to die. Mm -hmm. Now, after dying, the drying process continues. Wow. So then, after that, so you have uh, the larvae. Yeah, well, now from there we have. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can, we can go, we can go and see. From there we have now we we have we, what we have already tried. We have now this. Mm -hmm. Once they will be tried, they will be of this nature. Okay. You try them up to grungy, mm -hmm. and once you try them up to grungy. Like I have, someone has to hear the rrr, th that sound of that is it something that has really dried. And uh, our 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 buyers mm -hmm. usually say that they have to try to crunchy, mm -hmm. and that one can Im improve the even the price of of selling to them. Okay. It can run up to five hundred to seven hundred per kg. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, that one has been uh, the level stage. Yeah, because you keep saying black soldier fly, so I'm wondering. This ones don't have oh, wings. Oh, so you want to see them fly? <laughs> yeah, I want to see the ones okay. that are now, flying. Uh, the, this, uh, this one has been in a level stage. Yeah. Now inside here, mm -hmm. we have uh, those that will turn into pupa stage. Mm -hmm. When they turn into pupa stage, mm -hmm. this is now what we collect them when they turn black. Okay. Once they turn black like this one, mm -hmm. these ones are now into, they have turned into pupa stage. Mm -hmm. So from here, mm -hmm. we go into now adults. Okay. Now an adult mm -hmm. is what will be dumped as the fly a fly. Now. And oh, that okay. fly is black in nature. Mm -hmm. And here you you can come around. You can come here. You can still twist it. Yes, I can, I, I'd love see to see. See a few of them. Yeah. Oh, like now this one has already hatched. Oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah, this is one of uh, the process of hatching has begun. Mhm. Mm yeah. So when we we collect the the larvae, mm -hmm. not the larvae but the pupa, mm -hmm. we put them under this gauge, okay. and then we lock. Okay. So once they hatch, mm -hmm. there will be a process of laying eggs. Mm -hmm. Now when they lay eggs inside here, mm -hmm. we shall collect those eggs on the on the eggies, mm -hmm. then hatch them. Okay. When we hatch them, they will begin now, the, the life cycle of a fly will begin again from egg stage, mm -hmm. larval stage, pre-pupa, pupa, and then adult. Wow, thank you so much. This thank was you. very insightful. Thank you. And people can always come to Kibisi Garden and benchmark what we do here. This is it. Yeah. It is just but a demo. Mm -hmm. We urge all farmers to come around, learn from this and do them do it at their home. Okay, thank you so much, Daniel. Welcome. Okay.